This is Mike Diamond on the scene for Edge at the Church of the Holy Apostles, also known as Congregation Beth Schmatracha. For Geeks Out, McKinley Softly, an evening of artwork honoring Sir Ian McKellen. McKellen Me Softly is an art show. It's um, the third year that we've done an art project here in, in New York. Uh, this year we had over 35 artists contribute, drawing different images of Ian McKellen that they feel represents him in a proper pa place in pop culture. Okay. Something that really celebrates the man as a, as a person who gays look up to, queers of all kinds, and also someone who like really represents the kind of queer geek community that we're looking to build. And so a lot of the representations are like him as Gandalf and him as Magneto. Yes, and um, I think that those are sort of his two most prominent roles. Well, I notice a lot of the representations kind of sexualize Sir Ian McKellen. I think there's something that's really queer about taking a man like Ian McKellen, who is older, who is handsome, who is rugged, and, and taking him and saying, like, this kind of person is attractive. And I think a lot of artists play with that, with this kind of thing, right. where they're like, we're looking at him and we're saying he's strong and we're saying he's virile and someone we respect. And like those things wind up looking, you know, sexualized. Yeah. Now, I heard that Ian McKellen was going to be here tonight, but on the way he fell and broke a hip. It's terrible. He shall not pass. Mama. <laughs> Geeks Out is a charitable organization here in New York supporting the LGBT. Did I get those letters right? LGBT community of New York and the geeks and the comic book fans and the cosplayers and the nerds and the geeks of the city. We support them. We love them. We give them a little home to, to come and chat and, and, and geek out at. Cosplay like people that dress up as like... Oh, hell yeah. All that stuff. Bat I'm Batman. Batman if you're lucky. Yeah, lick oh. my utility belt. You know that that river run, runs deep. Yes, it do. <laughs> a river runs through it, bitch, and it's polluted. <laughs> yes. So now tell me about Ian McKellen and your obsession with him. Ian McKellen, he's been a superhero since day one. Every... Every genre of geek, from from the comic books to the uh, to the wilderness and Lord of the Rings, he's been there the whole time. He's perfect. He's the perfect representation. Are you more Star Trek or Star Wars? Wars. Ian McKellen could have played Ben Kenobi. Easily, easily could have played Ben Kenobi. Okay, calm down, honey. It's just a conversation. <sighs> now you're sparking all my wet dreams. What is Geeks Out? Geeks Out is a nonprofit organization based here in New York City dedicated to empowering and promoting the queer geek community. We're really excited to celebrate Sir Ian McKellen. He's one of our biggest heroes. He's a queer geek icon. Um, he's inspired some really amazing art, and tonight should be a fantastic party. He's done great things for um, epic fantasy and sci-fi. And I had an epic fantasy once. Hey, I bet you did. But I couldn't get the whole team back to my room. So can I make a suggestion? Please. I think you guys should do an event of art honoring Charlotte Ray from the Facts of Life. All right. And you could call it Ray of Light. Ray of Light. Yeah. Ray of Light. Yeah. Justin Winslow, let's talk about your piece. Hey, uh, and maybe eventually your art. <laughs> my piece is called Just Between Us Girls, and it's Gandalf uh, and the Balrog on the bridge from Lord of the Rings. You probably remember that scene if you geeked out and saw that movie. Um, and they're having tea and gossiping. It's Gandalf and uh, the Balrog. Demon. Balrog? Balrog. What's, a, what's a Balrog? Is that like a ballroom term? If she's giving ball rock realness. Exactly. Total butch realness. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you're an Ian McKellen fan? Absolutely. Always. What is the appeal? Um, I think he's a very sexy older gentleman, and his immense talent is just off the charts. Yeah. Alvaro, what inspired your piece about Ian McKellen? Um, so this is my probably my favorite movie of Ian McKellen, Gods and Monsters. Uh, I rewatched the movie to get some inspiration, and I. It is uh, my piece is a bit dark. It's a bit sad. I got like this kind Your of. Your piece like, is dark and sad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> come on, right? Right. <laughs> well, don't put that in a sex ad. Anyway. If Gandalf wanted to, could he take down Darth Vader? Uh sure. Magic. Come on. If someone like a ninja mutant turtle got into a sookie sookie with the bionic woman, who'd come out on top? I would go for the bionic woman. You think? Yeah. I mean... They're, they're just reptiles. I mean, yeah, I don't, I'm not fun. I'm just like, based in reality and logic. They're, they're slow and eh, whatever. I know, right? Like, anyone that would say the turtles, they're crazy. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Alvaro, thank you so much. Thank you. Are you a gay geek? Yes. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, that means that I am into 
comics and video games. And, and like bondage and leather? <laughs> no. So you are a gay geek. Now, did you always know you had this affliction of being a geek? I did not know that there were others like me until I actually found a group like Geeks Out. Yeah. So. So as a gay geek, when you hook up with another gay geek, is there like cosplay and like action figures or like what's the deal? Uh, not necessarily. But sometimes. Maybe. But that's a, that's a secret. Like, do you ever say like, work me, you Ewok, work me? Are you a big Ian McKellen fan? Of course. I just saw X-Men this past weekend and he was good as always, but... He's also... He's Magneto, right? He's Magneto. He's Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings. He's just... He's everything. Are you single, married? What's your story? I'm single. You are? Well, you're not going to find a husband here. I just got to be on. I got to break it to you. Oh, my God. I'm so sad. Are you serious? A room full of homosexual nerds. Although, still, you have a better chance than I do. That's the really sad thing about it. I don't think that's true. Oh, God. I love those glasses. Thank you. Do you guys, like, write, like, fan fiction as a group? Like, Pikachu having sex with Harry Potter or something? Uh, you're welcome to. I if think you, I might. That's your thing, man. Yeah. We, we, want, we want people to do those things. Are you a nerd, a dweeb, or a geek? Uh, I err on the side of dweeb. I feel like it's an underused term, so. Okay. Mm. Is there, like, some, like, fine distinction I'm not aware of? Uh, dweebs have bigger dicks. Now, what is the connection between the gays and the comic books? Oh, I don't know. I think it's just kind of like the freedom, you know, they're uh, awesome metaphors, you know, for the way that we kind of live our own lives. So, you know, and plus it's just, you know, who doesn't like fabulousness, you know, very colorful, very outlandish characters, you know, so I think it's, it's a lot that we can identify with. Signing out from the Church of the Poison Mind, this is Mike Diamond on the scene in New York City at McKillen Me Softly. Live long and prosper.